vascular claudication, and sciatica. Is this leg pain peripheral arterial disease or is it a sciatica pain? Confusion between the two conditions. Leg pain is a common symptom of peripheral arterial disease. It can also occur from conditions that can cause sciatica. The peripheral arterial disease affects the blood flow in the vascular system. Sciatica pain occurs due to compression of nerve roots by disc herniation or compression of the sciatic nerve itself by the periformis muscle or other causes. If we don't diagnose the peripheral arterial disease and if we mistakenly think the patient has sciatica and we don't treat the peripheral arterial disease, this can result in serious complications to the patient, including amputation. Is there a difference between peripheral arterial disease leg pain and sciatica leg pain? In peripheral arterial disease leg pain, the patient will experience pain that tends to feel like an ache or cramps deep in the calf or thigh muscles. Pain increases during exercise, especially walking or running, and gets better when the patient rests. In vascular insufficiency, the pain may occur in both legs, although the pain may be worse in one leg than the other. Pain from vascular claudication radiates from distal to proximal during ambulation, it can be bilateral or unilateral, and when the pain is unilateral, it may mimic lumbar radiculopathy. For sciatica pain, there might be sharp, burning pain shooting from the lower back to the back of the leg, and it usually affects one side. Danger is that we are missing and not diagnosing a serious peripheral arterial disease that can give the patient a bad outcome. Non-invasive ankle brachial index is considered positive when the ABI ratio is less than 0.9. Vascular arterial disease is underdiagnosed and about 30% of the people don't even know that they have it. It can cause limb-threatening ischemia. The term sciatica is commonly used to describe pain that radiates from the lower back into the leg. Most common cause of sciatica is usually a disc herniation. However, there are many causes of sciatica symptoms that is caused by a non-spinal pathology which can mimic the symptoms of a painful herniated disc. Symptoms that are perceived as sciatica may not be related to the nerve roots or even to the sciatic nerve. Peripheral vascular disease that involves peripheral vessels such as the iliacs and the femoral artery usually produce symptoms in one extremity. Aortic stenosis may produce symptoms in both extremities as well as the buttock and the lower back. Diagnosis of intermittent vascular claudication in a patient with a diagnosis of sciatica is important. It is important to know that there are some other medical problems that may mimic musculoskeletal symptoms. It is important for the orthopedic surgeon to differentiate the cause of the patient's pain. Is the pain of a spinal origin, musculoskeletal origin, or is it from another source? Delay in the diagnosis may create a delay in the treatment and major disability. In vascular claudication, there are changes in the foot or leg temperature, discolored skin, slow toenail and hair growth, sores or ulcers that are slow to heal. Thank you very much. I hope that was helpful.